going to show you, um, if you are a teenager or if you're someone just starting out in makeup, some basic techniques that are very neutral, very easy to do. So let's get started. So the main thing you need before you put on any eyeshadow is an eyeshadow primer. The one I'm wearing today is L'Oreal Decrease and I put that all over the lid up to the brow. Then what you need is a flat shader brush, any kind as long as it's flat. Um, and I'm going to take, since I'm putting pink eyeshadow on the lid and sometimes pinks are hard to show up, I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Strawberry Milk. It's just a pinkish color. You don't have to do this step. If you're in a hurry, just skip it. I'm just doing it because I want that pink to show up. So I'm putting this all over the lid. Actually, I'm going to draw it on. And it's a nice light pink color. It'll just help make that pink pop. Just draw it on there. Use your finger to rub it out. And I'm just putting this on the lid. Then you take that brush, and I'm going to go in with NYX Color Platinum Pink. It's just a light pink color, something nice and soft, nice and neutral. I'm putting this all over the lid. Just dab it on there. Then I'm going to take a fluffy dome brush, just like this one. This is from Target. It's a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's just something that's kind of fluffy. I'm going in with NYX Iced Mocha, and it's a brownish taupe color. Put some on that brush. Flick it off because I don't want much color. I just want a little bit. I'm going to put some on the outer part of my eye, and then I'm going to bring it into my crease. Take a little bit more and just blend it in. You want to feel for where that eye socket's at and just kind of get right in there with that color. Then wipe that off and I'm going in with NYX Highlight and it's just a light cream color. You want something that's close to your natural skin tone so if you're a little bit darker go for a little bit darker color. Just putting this all under the brow, just sweeping it under there. I'm going to intensify that outer part just a little bit with more iced mocha. It's your preference on how dark you want it. And that's pretty much it for the shadow portion. Then what I'm going to do is take a brown eyeliner pencil. Now I don't have a generic one so I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 um, in stash. You just need a soft creamy brown pencil. And starting at the outer part of your lashes. I'm just doing short strokes and just sweeping it in right um, next to the lash line. Very close to it. You don't want to go in all the way, you just want to go in where your natural lashes stop. And you can kind of smooth it out if you want. And that's pretty much it for the eyeliner. Then all you need to do is add some mascara. And I'm using L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous. We're just going to coat the upper lashes. So what I'm going to do is swiggle at the base and then sweep up. Tilt your head back just a little bit. You only need one coat for the daytime. If you're doing something at night, going out with friends, you can always put on a couple coats. But for going to school, you just need one. And I'm not going to do the lower lashes, just the uppers. And see how soft and natural that is? Let me zoom out and show you what I'm going to do for the lips. This is a very, very easy look. You can do, easily do it in five minutes. Okay, so for my lips, I'm just going to put on some Revlon lip gloss. It could be any kind of lip gloss you like. Um, I chose pink just because I like wearing pinks. So you could go with a peachy color, a nude color, if you want something brighter. And just put that lip gloss on. And that's all you really need. So a nice, easy, daytime wearable look. Something that you can do in just a few minutes. So let me get up so you can see. So I have just a little bit of pink on here. You can choose whatever color you want. I put just a medium color brown and then a light color to highlight and then some lip gloss and a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and you're good to go. So if you guys have any questions, you know how to reach me um, either on my site, MakeupGeek.com um, or you can email me at Marlena at MakeupGeek.com. And uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.